What's up everybody, Durag back at it again with another video on Ready or Not. So if there's anything that I haven't told people, it's what am I going to do when Ready or Not comes out? Like what type of videos are you going to make for this particular game? Well I actually have a lot of ideas for the game, but I really didn't want to talk about them until it got a little closer to release. But not that long ago someone had pinged me in the discord saying, Durag, how have you not made a video about that? About what? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. I just noticed that the press kit already identifies some of the characters in the story. Yeah I mean I noticed that too, but it doesn't actually say a whole lot about them so one plan that i'm actually going to have when ready or not comes out is a some sort of profiling series where i do a dedicated video on one particular character finding out what their backstory is or what they're trying to achieve this series not only includes the swat officers but it also includes the bad guys too like what's their motivation for doing these kind of things i think i'm gonna call it character profile probably what it's gonna be called that's the name of the series and put them out on display you know show what type of personalities that they have that's one series that i want to do but this commenter actually brought up a good point why don't I just cover this? So I went on my Twitter and I was like, yo, should I cover this? Like, there's there's a couple of named characters here. And of course, they're going to say, yes, do it. So I'm like, okay, what do we say? So that is what I am doing today. We are going to cover some characters that are in the press kit. And if this video doesn't get over at least 10 minutes, then maybe I'll have enough time to fit in some other characters. Because from what I've seen, Ready or Not has a lot of characters. Most that we've seen, but we don't know too much about. So let's get into it. The first one that we're going to be starting off with is Belle. What do we know about Belle? Bell. Initially, when I first saw this picture, I wasn't sure if Bell was actually her name because there is a second picture that says Hotel Bell. I was a little confused by that, but later when I saw the trailer and we learned that the name of the hotel was the Wenderly Hotel, I thought, well, maybe it is her name. Now, it's always possible that there is a second hotel in the game called Hotel Bell, but for now, let's just say that there isn't and this is the person's name. So what do we know about her? Well, the interesting thing about Belle is that there aren't many civilians that have gotten a whole lot of coverage from Void Interactive as much as she has. It's mostly been SWAT officers or suspects that have come out on their Instagram, Twitter, you know, whatever. There's a pic of her on their Instagram that only says, wrong crowd. I know it's her because they have the same hairstyle and earrings. But this is where speculation kicks in. What does wrong crowd mean? What I think it means is that Belle is an informant. I mean, why would they show her more than once if she wasn't important? Why would they give her a name if she's just a random civilian? Maybe there's a mission where you have the optional objective of finding the informant, which is Belle in the Wonderly Hotel. At least that's just what I think. It would make a little more sense why these SWAT officers are greeting Belle in this picture rather than just breaking down the door. But we won't actually know until we get, you know, into the game itself. Again, there's gonna be a lot of speculation throughout this video of what I think these characters are. We won't know until later on down the road. But yeah, this is all we really know about Belle so far, or at least what I think we know. If you have a different opinion, let me know down in the comments below because we're going to be pushing on to the next one, which is Eli. Who is Eli? Well, to get an idea of who Eli is, we turn to the Ready or Not podcast, specifically when Donut Operator asks, is there any officers with a mustache? To which the developers reply, yes, there is an officer who is the oldest member of the team who has a mustache. Apparently, he loves his MP7s. You know what I think? And this is total speculation. I think Eli is a scanned-in model of Donut Operator. And again, this is total speculation, but think about it. We know that Donut has been working closely with Void Interactive because he's a YouTuber and with Black Sight. Also, I found an MP7. I'm so happy. Hmm. Again, total speculation. But then you could say, well, a lot of people like the MP7s. Fair point. Again, we don't know too much, so it's just all left up to speculation at this point. So that's about as much as we know on Eli. If there's any more, let me know down in the comments. We're gonna push on to the next one here. Up next, we have Jolana. Now, we don't know too much about her, but we've seen her before, in the trailer to be exact. She's in a place that has a lot of dead bodies. At least I think so. I can't exactly exactly pinpoint her location, but if we look at the Instagram picture of her, it says, no more tears. I was curious to see what would happen if we looked it up in Google, and what came up was a song and an album by Ozzy Osbourne, which is said to be the longest song that he has recorded. It's a pretty good song, I gotta say, but the meaning behind it is interesting. According to this article, it means a very macabre song about a stalker who torments women in a red light district.
district. Macabre means disturbing and horrifying because of involvement with or depiction of death and injury. And red light districts means an area of a town or city containing many brothels, strip clubs, and other sex businesses. A stalker who torments women in a red light district. That honestly sounds like the concept of the mission right there. I wonder if that's actually foreshadowing. Hmm. So is Jelana in the sex industry? Maybe she's the only one alive in this particular area. Maybe she's working at the anal staircase. Possible, but we'll have to see. This next one is an interesting one because I don't believe we have anything on this guy, but his name is Paz. He gives me the impression that he doesn't talk a lot because all we've ever seen of him is just this picture as far as I know. Typing in the meaning of Paz into Google comes up with this. Leave me alone. Sometimes with a time of freedom from war, a treaty or agreement which brings about the end or stopping of a war. So learning about this, does this mean that Paz is the type of dude to like, as soon as he gets back from a mission, he just like stays quiet. But when he gets into a mission, he's like loud and stuff. That's what I think this character is, but I don't know. Maybe that's what he is, but I don't know. There's just not enough info. All right, well, let's move on to the next one. And I believe this is going to be the last one, at least for the press kit. Up next, we have Judge. Who is Judge? Those of you who haven't figured it out by now, most of these SWAT characters use code names instead of their given names, Judge being one of them. Judge is to be the main character in the single player story of Ready or Not. If we look back at the podcast with Donut Operator and Blacksite, they say, Judge is a SWAT veteran who recently joined the Metro Police SWAT Department in Los Angeles. According to the developers, if they had said any more, they would have spoiled the story. So they just left it at that. But it's interesting to me on how they say that he's a SWAT veteran, because why did he transfer to this particular department? Was it to get away from something that happened in his past, maybe? I mean, from what the developers have said, Los Angeles is an alternative universe where crime is rampant, so it's possible that he was transferred to LA out of necessity. But from what the developers had said, they said that he joined it, so he wanted to go there. Now we could argue that it was for sentimental reasons, but we don't truly know. I think, and again, complete and total speculation. He's running from something that happened in his past. I think this because if we look at Void Interactive's Instagram, there was a pic of him with a bunch of text over his face. I couldn't tell what the text actually said in full, but if we type in the title of the picture into Google, which is no greater love, it turned out to be a Bible verse. John 15, 13, greater love hath no one than this, that a man laid down his life for his friends. According to Wikipedia, this is normally used in the context of self-sacrifice. Now, I don't know if Judge was a religious man to begin with, but maybe he turned to the Bible because of something that happened in his past, as he moved away from wherever he transferred from. Again, all speculation, but there's a second pick that kind of gives me the reason to believe this. The second pick is called Stress Endures. This could be as simple as saying he's stressed because he's the squad leader. But is it really as simple as that? Or is there something more? It's not impossible to think, but I almost find it hard to believe that a SWAT veteran would be put under stress unless he had something hanging over his shoulders beforehand. I mean, I guess it would make sense if he was new to the force, joining up with the force and then all of a sudden being put in charge of a team. That would be why he would have some stress and even be nervous. But this dude's a veteran, right? He's supposed to know what he's doing, right? So I don't know, that's just my thoughts on it. So that was all the characters that were featured in the press kit that had names. Names. At least I'm pretty sure that's all of them anyway. Those of you that are unfamiliar with the press kit, I covered this in a previous video that you can watch here. But yeah, what do you guys think of a character profile series where I just do a dedicated video to each character featured in Ready or Not? This includes SWAT units and bad guys, maybe some civilians if they actually have names and somewhat of a story to them. I'll cover that. One character per video. It's an idea that I've had for a while now, but I thought I'd just give you a little taste of what it would be like trying to get their backstories and whatnot, which admittedly is probably going to be a bitch because I'm gonna have to go through dialogue, anything that's actually written down, maybe get their comments on certain situations, like them seeing a body and saying something either fun- like if they say something funny or they scream in agony or something, I don't know. It's obviously gonna have different personality traits there. So yeah, it's gonna be a long and stressful series, but I hope you guys like it. Tell me what you think down in the comments below because I'm gonna head on out. I wanna thank everybody for coming out to watch and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye